Here's how I can make this crunchy grunge text animation here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this artboard size. For the font, I'm gonna go with Nickel Gothic Variable Condensed Oblique. It's a free Adobe font you can download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And now I'm gonna go to the adjustments, scroll down. I'm gonna go and select Invert, press and hold Shift. I'm gonna select all the layers, a right click, convert to Smart Object. And from here, I'm gonna drag and drop some grungy textures and I'm gonna stretch it. I'm gonna go to the adjustments, select the curves. I'm gonna increase the contrast. Let's go back to the adjustments, select the black and white. And now we're gonna go to the file, save as. I'm gonna rename it as 01, save it as a PSD file and click on save. I'm gonna go and select the correct texture and I'm gonna go and drag and drop some more textures and do the same process, go to file, save them as a PSD and I'm gonna do this with four or five texture copies. After you saved all the copies, you can go and delete all these textures and I'm also gonna delete the curves and the black and white, rename the smart object as text and let's go to filter, distort and select displace. I'm gonna try it out with horizontal and vertical 10 by 10, click OK. And I'm gonna go and select the first PSD texture that I saved, click on Open. And this is how it looks. I'm gonna press Ctrl J to duplicate, double click on the displace right here. Here you can increase it or decrease it if you want and change up the values. I'm gonna try it out with 20 by 20, click OK. And I'm gonna go and select the second PSD texture, click on Open. And check that out, press Ctrl G again, repeat the process, double click on the displace. For example, I'm gonna decrease this maybe to 15 by 15. Just change up the values and make it inconsistent, click on OK, select the third one and so on and so forth. And now as you can see, we got the five copies. I'm gonna press and hold Shift, select them all, collapse them and now I'm gonna go to the window and select the timeline. Click on create video timeline and I'm gonna bring the work area from here all the way down to one second and I'm gonna zoom in with this handle all the way until it's gonna stretch it out so you can see this fourth frame. Select the first text layer and press and hold shift, select the bottom text layer and click on the split button. I'm gonna go and delete these long ones, press on delete and there you go. And now I'm gonna go with the second layer and bring it out and do the same thing with the third, fourth and fifth. And right now this is how the animation looks like. It's pretty nice and grungy already. And now I'm gonna go and add some textures. I'm gonna drag and drop this one and change up the blend mode. I'm gonna go with screen. After adding the grungy textures, it looks something like this. And now we're gonna do one single thing. Let's go to the hamburger button here, click on it and let's go and select enable onion skins. And basically this is going to multiply the layers and it's going to create another opacity layer in between these texts. So if you hit play, it looks something like this, but as you can see, the ending is fading away. So all you need to do is expand this text, something like that. Make sure to bring back the work area. And if you hit play, it should be better. Now at the beginning, we have the same problem. So I'm gonna scroll down, select all the layers, push it out. And I'm gonna bring this a little bit more out and bring the work area a little bit more in. And I'm also gonna push this out. So let's see what we got. There you go. I also can modify this opacity mode to be a little bit more visible. So let's go back to the burger button and let's select onion skin settings. And as you can see, the blend mode is on multiply. So if you change it to normal, it is going to lighten up the composition, but I'm gonna go back to multiply. I kind of like it this way. And we're gonna go and increase the frames after to three. Click OK and check this out. Now we got more frames with this opacity layers and I'm gonna hit play and now it looks even smoother. And this is how I make this crunchy grunge text animation here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.